Listen Up, Mimi Leakes, and Bethany Frankel just landed a brand new show together. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Breaking News with G, an installment on my channel where we discuss all of the latest news about all of your favorite Bravo liberties. Um, let us get right into it. As always, I'm going to read to you straight from my source, so I do not miss out on any details. Um, my source today, as in many of my other videos, is Mr. Housewives on Instagram. Go over there, check him out, leave a follow, leave a like. His post reads, Bethany Frankel and Nene Leakes announced their new podcast show called Bethanini. So, Mr. Housewife says, Um, okay, did anyone ask for this? Bethany Frankel announced her new podcast series with Nene Leakes called Bethanini. It's a cute name, I can't lie. In the description, Bethany says that they will discuss various topics such as menopause, friendship, and spilling the tea on a recent dinner Bethany hosted. A month ago, Nini came on Bethany's podcast to talk about her experience on Bravo and explain why she feels like she has been black blackballed in Hollywood. The interview was very insightful, but not once did I say that they both need a podcast show together. Well, damn. First of all, they both are the president of the I Hate Andy Cohen fan club, and that was juicy and all, but I don't want to only hear about their dislike for that man. Secondly, Bethany has become very annoying with all her recent content she's been releasing. It feels like everything she's doing has something to do with taking shots at Andy and Bravo. And thirdly, Nini is better than this. Unlike Bethany, Nini has talent as an actress and television host. It's coming off that Bethany is using Nini for clout. Call me a hater and prove me wrong, but that is how I feel. Bethanini is available now on all streaming platforms. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Okay, this is not the only thing I have for you. I have the post on Just Be With Bethany's uh Insta account. She says, how do you like this combo? Bethanini, a limited series with Bethany Frankel and Nini Leakes, spilling the tea on that eclectic dinner, menopause and on and off TV friendships and so much more to come. Listen to Just Be with Bethany now wherever you podcast. So when I first discovered this whole news thing, I was thinking back to the idea that Bethany and Nini pitched a show to Bravo of them going to visit typically white and black neighborhoods all around the States. So my first thought was, well, are they really landing a show? But no. Um, sorry for the clickbait. They just announced a limited series on the Just Be With Bethany podcast where Nini is going to start in probably in a certain amount of episodes. Um, honestly, I can't hate on her. She is, Nini's trying to get back out there. And if, you know, there is a certain use to Bethany's name, if positive or negative, it is, you know, attention that Nini's brand can utilize on in whatever which way her team wants her to. So I feel like, yes, Bethany is controversial. Yes, Bethany has sometimes questionable content. But isn't that the reason why she's watched, kinda? And yes, she sometimes can be very annoying. But I liked the combo of Nini and her when... They had the, like, three-hour-long sit-down interview about a month ago. And I kind of have to agree with Mr. Housewives on the I really hope that this is just not going to be the bashing of Bravo and Andy. I mean, deserving or not, I think we've kind of had that conversation 
many, many, many times now in the past. So I think it is time to move on. And who knows, this could open doors for Nini that this, these, type, these certain type of doors might lead her way back to, you know, Bravo eventually, maybe. Not that she needs, you know, Bethany Frankel's kind of savior help to do that, not at all. He needs a force all by her own. But if she does, you know, kind of get back into the scene a little bit more and gain... What gain? I mean, kind of really show the world that Nini Lise is still here. What if that is something that she can utilize to get back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? I'm being delusional as always. I think everybody that watches me knows that I would want nothing more for the OG of not only Atlanta, but the starter of all franchises, the OG breadwinner for the network, for her to come back and bless our screens permanently. So if that's what Nini chooses to do now with Bethany, let her do it. I am definitely going to tune in. Give it a little listen. Give it a cute watch if it's on YouTube. I will definitely support any venture that she's on. Also, what I am probably going to be doing a little Housewives Rant with G next on is the dinner that Miss Bethany Frankel had at her house the other night or the other like three or four nights ago with you know, questionable choices of guests. And with questionable, I mean specific choices, such as Nene Leakes, Raquel Levis, Denise Richards, uh, Amanda from Selling Sunset. Why is she picking up all of these characters that have had kind of a turbulent thing with their network kind of ish um what is going on behind the scenes bethany rarely does anything without motive so what what what's the what was the reason i am hoping that she'll share more in the next day so i can accumulate some information to gather for you all in my in, an, in another video in a future video so, yeah, I really do want to talk about it. So, let me know what you guys think about the two of them starting this podcast limited series. Um, I think I personally think it's great. I have nothing negative to say about it. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. As always, hit the notification bell down below, and I will definitely see you guys later. Bye.